True Crime with Shane, where truth meets speculation, investigating crime from the past and the present. If you love true crime the way that I love true crime, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe as well as that notification button. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks in advance, guys. Now let's get to some true crime. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are a new subscriber and you've never visited my channel before, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a part of this fabulous family. If you are a returning subscriber, as always, I am so happy to see that you are still rocking with your girl. Now look, this is not going to be a long drawn out video. I just feel very compelled to jump on here for a moment. Um... It's pretty early on the West Coast where I am, so I was going to jump on and do a video, um, but I, I'm still in my pajamas, okay? And I've been watching this fuck shit all morning, and it is getting on my nerves. This whole situation with Chris Proudfoot, this man has some type of mental disorder. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not being funny, but in case you have not heard, in regards to Sebastian Rogers, he's a 15-year-old autistic male who went missing almost it's over two months it's been over two months supposedly according to his mom Katie Proudfoot he left out of their home in the middle of the night with no shoes on no phone no nothing and we are expected to believe that this little boy is still out there somewhere okay I've been saying it and I'm gonna say it again and if you don't like it too bad I don't believe this um, Sebastian Rogers is still alive I don't that is my opinion my opinion only I'm just going by just sheer logic and look the little boy is 15 years old, okay? He's autistic. And I've seen video of Sebastian Rogers, and you guys probably have too. The video where he's bowling and the video where he's out at, I guess it's a, I don't know what kind of sporting event it is. But you can clearly tell that this little boy has, you know, he, he's autistic. And um, I don't think with his state of mind, he would be able to be out on the run <laughs> for more than two months. That's just common sense, okay? Nor do I think somebody kidnapped him. No one is looking to kidnap, and I don't mean this in any derogatory way, but an autistic kid who we've heard wears diapers, who's biting. No, 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 no. That's just too, it's too much going on there, okay? Now, I believe in my heart of hearts, as I've always believed ever since I heard the stupid ass story, that his mother, Katie Proudfoot, has something to do with this child's disappearance. And her husband, Chris Proudfoot, he is involved in some type of way. I'm not sure how, maybe just in a cover up. I don't know. But I know that it is ridiculous to believe that this young man is still out there. He's on the run or somebody has kidnapped him, like for real. Even when the photo came out of the young man at Grandfather's Mountain and everybody was like, oh, it's about No, it's not Sebastian. Sebastian's body is not that build. He, they don't know. Sebastian's hair is almost a strawberry blonde. He took his mother's jean with for that red auburn hair or whatever he's a very light you know his hair and his i don't know maybe i just looked closer into the pictures and everything like that the picture that was brought forth of the young man um at grandfather's mountain yes it did it the, the he had a very general white boy um makeup <laughs> you know what i mean thin slender white boy with dark hair and glasses google it you'll see 25 pictures that look like Sebastian but it's not him Sebastian's hair is not that dark never been that dark it's not gonna ever be that dark okay and Sebastian is small for his age not that this young man on the picture is not but Sebastian's body build is that of a young boy not of a 15 year old 16 year olds the boy in the picture in my opinion he has a little body on the top even his arms look a little you know thick or whatever so 
yeah, I just never bought that. I never bought that because I just always felt in my heart of heart that Sebastian is no longer with us. Okay. And I know that Seth looked at the picture. It just makes Seth look. Oh my goodness. Seth has been doing some pretty questionable things and I'm not pleased with him. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's how I feel. And I'm entitled to that. Going around on the various platforms, you're giving misinformation, you're um, basically putting your neck on the chopping block, stating that this is your son that you see in this picture. No, sir, you got to know more information than what you do. And um, I believe he is just a hurt father grieving and he basically has no access to information. <laughs> um, he is hoping and praying that his son is still alive. Wouldn't we all? So I give him a pass, but he needs to sit down. He needs to be more careful with who he talks to and what he says. Please don't be on your medication or drugs or whatever when you're giving interviews and doing um, polygraph. Just... It's just weird to me. And another thing, say Chris Proudfoot, because that's really what this video is about. Why are you on the podcast and social media platforms trying to be funny? This whole situation with him calling into Columinati's, um podcast and talking about mustard and biscuits and tighter tots and tighters and all this stuff like that's fuck shit and it's distraction and it is downright disrespectful disrespectful to sebastian rogers and disrespectful to katie disrespectful to everybody who is really serious about finding your stepson sir this man is addicted to this new found fame he is loving this attention whether it's negative positive or whatever and i'm gonna keep it real these content creators that are upholding this and um, supporting him because that's what you're doing. When he call into your show, hang up on his ass. Do not allow him to continue to get off and climax on <laughs> this tragedy that's taking place with Sebastian Rogers. This is stupid. All the laughing and uh, playing around with him. That is not helping. How is that helping this case? It's not. It's a bunch of foolery and fuckery. And clicks and views are not that serious. It's dumb. And it, it just irritates me. And um, I try my best not to. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Chris Proudfoot called in on Columinati's channel. And he was doing some type of prank. But at the end of the 20 minute plus conversation that he had pretending to be whomever he was pretending to be some podunk out in the I don't know okay but he was talking with an accent and being real dumb then he comes forth and you know reveals himself and talks for another hour get this punk off y'all channel okay this is ridiculous it's retarded and it's not helping Tell me how calling into somebody's show doing a prank is helping your stepson. And where's your wife? Where is your wife, sir? This makes no sense. And you guys, we as content creators, we got to do better. Like, this is so creepy and stupid. I, it just makes me mad. I could pull the skin off of his face. <laughs> Get out there and do some searches for this little boy. And I'm going to tell y'all now, I think that... Oh my God. I don't, I think they're wasting time going all out to North Carolina and doing all this extra shit. That body is somewhere between that steakhouse, Texas Roadhouse, and their home address. Okay. If not, then check on that route to Chris Proudfoot's workplace. That's what everybody needs to be doing. But they've ran every legitimate professional service search team, they've been ran off. Because there's too much fuck shit going on. And in the midst, Sebastian just done got forgotten all about. We've had all kind of information come out. In regards to Katie Proudfoot's nutty ass family. That, that family is full of s airs on children. Then you got them all out eating steak dinners and Mexican fiesta pies and all kinds of stuff. Chris Proudfoot has been on at least 10 different podcast and we still don't know any more information from them than we knew before so stay off the podcast unless you're gonna give drop some real information 
You guys, if you like my commentary, please make sure that you go ahead and, again, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video. I'm always down for good conversation, so make sure you leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and use one of the QR codes, buy your girl a coffee, or you can support on PayPal or my Cash App. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye now.